Hi guys, how are you all doing? Um, hope you're enjoying your holidays and a Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year. Um, feels like I've been gone for ages, like forever and ever. I've had a um, few problems with me fibro stuff, trying to get me tablets and that sorted out. So yeah, that's why I've been away for a while. Um, I'm now kind of using a wheelchair 90% of the time, so um right but anyway i've come back um after my i think it was about eight months ago i last done a video so do apologize for that guys um but we was making the baby girls album um my computer is in front of me here now so the camera will be upside down until i can get something else sorted out so i will be filming upside down um, the last video I done also cut off towards the end, which I do apologise for. Um, but all I done was the uh, the two inside pages, the front cover and the first page. So we've done that. I stuck the paper on there, um, backed this on a piece of card, and it does actually open at the side so you can get a photo mat or something in there um, and then over this side just similar sort of thing stuck the backing paper on created this little pocket there um, it says heaven sent and then I've cut out the first month card on there which just slides in there and then there will be a photo mat in there as well I've not cut any of the photo mats out yet to go in the end of the pages um, but all I've done was I just continued and stuck the same paper onto each of the pages like so just like that okay um, so this will be filmed upside down I do apologize um, but I will show you what I'm doing as I go along um, so we're now on to the second month um, and because I, I'm not going to bother doing too much on these pages because um, I want to be able to put a photo mat on there so they can see the photo and the cards like that in a little pocket. Um, so what I'm going to try and do basically is to create a pocket at the side or at the bottom um, with something on it just so they can stick a photo mat in there and the monthly card for whatever it is. So all I've done was I cut a piece of card to go across the bottom of the page. Oh, sorry, bear with me a second. Oh, get all comfy and then you have to move again. So I'm just going to snip made a crease down either side. I'm just going to cut the corners off of them so it just sticks on the page a bit nicer. Like so, pop my glasses on, it might help. Hey? I'll just cut off the corners there like that um, and this is going to be stuck in here like so. Uh, let's put a bit of glue on there. So I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Mine was really nice. Um, the first year in about 18 years, I think, that I've actually not had to cook a Christmas dinner. Um, me and my daughter went round to my son's um, and we spent Christmas round there with my grandson and my son and my daughter-in-law. Um, there was only us few but it was really nice um, it made a change to get away from my house at Christmas but then I did also think that oh yeah great that'd be excellent I get away from cooking this year as well but no I didn't it's my son's first Christmas at home cooking for the family um, I mean he does cook anyway but he um wanted to do Christmas dinner at home for them so it's something special um, so let's just let this 
stick down a little bit. I need to get some other glue. I've, um, I don't think this is going to work too well. All my glues run out and dried up over the time that I wasn't able to film for and do crafting, um, which is a bit of a pain. And the only glue I had left available to use was um, I had a tiny little bit of Mod Podge that hadn't dried out yet and my wood glue. And being Christmas, obviously, there's not a lot open like market wise and that where I get all my glues and stuff from so I think I'm just going to have to persevere and try and dry this as much as I can um, yeah so anyway we went over there this year which was lovely but I still helped cook all the Christmas dinner um, so yeah I didn't really get to have a rest or a break and but um it was quite hard as well because I'm kind of a bit tied to what I can do and stuff. So I was kind of helping to prepare the Christmas dinner. Um, and he was in the kitchen kind of cooking it all and I was just sitting near the kitchen. Um, kind of more or less just telling him what to do. Um and just kind of saying to him, you know, oh, quick, check the potatoes and, you know, do this, do that. And and he's like, how do I make gravy in a saucepan instead of, like, you know, just quickly out of the kettle? And, but, um, no, it was an absolutely lovely day. Um, my grandson, um, now he's getting a little bit older. We were coming up to his second birthday in April. Um, so it was nice to see him as well. I think he was still a little bit confused as to why am I being given these things and I've got to try and open them. Um, so we had to sit and open them with him. But, um, yeah, bless him. He got so much and uh, he thoroughly enjoyed it. But I think we wore him out. He slept three times Christmas Day. So bless his little heart. But it was absolutely gorgeous day. Um, and I did have good news as well. Um, my grandchild number two is on the way. And it's a little girl. So I'm absolutely over the moon about that. Um, so now I started this. It was going to originally be for one of my friends. Um, which unfortunately I don't speak to anymore. So... Um, I'm going to continue making it anyway and then I can just use it for my granddaughter when she appears so that will be lovely um, right so we stuck the pocket on here like this but now I need to find something that I can kind of stick onto the page See, that would be lovely if that was backed on a piece of card because then they can just write across there as well. Um, I think we'll go with that one to begin with. Or shall we have... Oh, decisions, decisions. There's so many cut-out pieces on this that it's really hard to kind of think like, well, okay, yep, yeah, I'll use that one or... That looks lovely there, but I think we might even go for that, like that. I'm not too sure. Um, I think that would make a lovely page, actually. So if I just put some glue on the back of this to stick that down to that piece, and then um, we can kind of... Um, right, whereabouts do I want that? So if that's there, I kind of want that about there. Right, so let's just stick that down where that is. I'll just use a baby wipe just to get that other piece of glue off there um, for a second, anyway. That's that. Um, Let's move these back a little bit so I can get a piece of card to 
stick this on too and cut out. Um, I don't think those pieces are going to be big enough at all. So let's grab another piece of card out. I didn't really want to use too much of this either because this is the only bit I've got left for doing this. And I think there's only one, two, three. I think there's like three or four pieces left, which is not going to be enough to do all the photo cards as well. So I'm kind of thinking that I might do all the pockets and that in pink and then perhaps use a cream colour because um, I'm not going to be able to get another I doubt it very very much that I would get pink in the same colour as this um, and it's not somewhere I bought it that you can go back on to say like if I bought it off eBay I can't go back onto there and reorder because I didn't go on there to get the card um, and I have been in the shop a couple of times and they're not actually selling this one. It's either too light or too dark. And so I don't know. It may just be a case of it's the wrong time of year to be using this type of cards. They seem to have coloured cards for the seasons. So... Um, you know, it's just gone Christmas, so they've got a lot of um, greens and reds and stuff like that in there at the moment. But um, I don't know. Maybe as we get closer to Easter or something, or even Valentine's Day, they might um, have something in there, the same colour that I might be able to use. Um this wood glue is not too bad actually. It's sticking these down quite quickly. Um, it might just be the card that I'm going to have a bit of trouble with. Um, right, so that's stuff on there. I'm just going to cut this out quickly. So, do any of you ladies actually have um, any New Year's resolutions? Is there any of you that, um, you know, you're going to come up with a plan, say, making more videos this year um, you're going to do more crafting this year I said I was going to try and spend more time with my family this year because I've been quite poorly and stuff it's really really not been a good year for me and the family unfortunately um, and I've just found out as well that um, because of me being ill and trying to get um, my benefits and things sorted um, the council are now trying to get me out of the house um, obviously I fell into rent arrears where I've been trying to um, claim money for my disability um, and having going through the whole process of leaving work etc and not having any money because I was on sick um, I fell into rent arrears. Now, my rent arrears are not actually that much. I have once before been in more arrears than what I'm in now. Um, I made, I set up a direct debit with the council to pay it off, and I was paying it off. Now, they've just recently been taken over for the third time by a different company. Um, so it's now a housing association, but. The problem being is, even though I was paying up my rent arrears, they decided that they want it all back in one go. Um, so we went out shopping one afternoon and came back to a nice letter being put through the letterbox saying um, that they want to evict me. So I'm now still waiting to hear about if I'm entitled to any benefits for being disabled and um, waiting to take the housing association to court. So that's been a nice palaver right on top of Christmas as well. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Well, um, I've been in this house now for 24 years so I really don't want to go anywhere. Um, 
and now the kids have left home it's nice because I've got the extra rooms I can do up for the grandchildren if they want to stay over as they get older and stuff um, and it's kind of like this is the home where I had my kids and they grew up here so it would be really nice to stay here um, right okay so we've done this pocket which you can get bits into and I've just put that on the card and cut all the way around it so that would stick nicely onto there like so um, I think if I turn that over that way I lay it like that then I can put a quick mark across here um, where's my ruler if I put a line across there quickly just roughly um, yeah sorry, sorry if you can um, see me shaking and stuff as I'm working it's uh, kind of part of the uh, disability and I don't, I don't think it helps also uh, a lot of the tablets I'm on I'm currently on 28 different tablets a day now so not too good so please bear with me also if um, I seem to be rattling on and talking rubbish etc um, I'm trying not to but by the end of me waffling on you might think oh my god Donna please shut up stop talking uh, but yeah I said to, um, for the new year I've decided I'm going to spend some more time with my family um, yeah just because I couldn't beforehand so it would be really nice now and with the other grandchild coming as well um, that I'll be able to do that so um, they're kind of of the understanding that they have to come to me a lot more than I can get to them now because um, with my partner working um, I mean needing the wheelchair if I go to them it's a lot of palaver to take the wheelchair etc because they're in a flat and they're in the second floor flat so it's getting up and down the stairs etc so yeah it's kind of easier they'll come to the understanding that yes it is a lot of aggro for me to get to them as much as I would want to but there we go that's that page so I'm just going to cut the card out now and stick see and if if they don't want to get um like a photo map to go in now then you know they can stick a nice picture on the top here or something but um i'm just going to cut out the second monthly card so we can put it onto there now i've got to try and find it again oh, let's go. Um, I'll just cut along this roughly. I think this is a lovely set, this um knit rich set. Um I did also buy the blue one, so um yeah, I'll probably be making a blue one after. Um I have in my spare time been doing some crocheting um, I did make quite a bit um, everyone got new gloves and scarves um, I've been crocheting you know hats and babies bits and blankets and god knows what just round in the corners of this um, so yeah it's um and then I ended up in the hospital um, with my arms in slings because I had swollen tendons in my arms um, 
which again was a bit of a pain because you know you you think oh yes I'll do this for Christmas and Thingy will love that and I've got to do this one for them and and you come up with all these great ideas and then you end up not being able to do any of them which is a bit of a pain so but um yeah all my arms were swollen and it was it's agonizing pain I feel really sorry for uh, you know like the footballers that sort of tear their ligaments and things it must be so painful because just having swollen ligaments in my arms was excruciating pain um I do have quite a high pain barrier so but then my daughter she's had fibro for years now and I think it was more or less a case of if you've got fibro things tend to hurt a lot more than what they normally would um, she was trying to explain to me about that um, but I have noticed myself that since I've had fibro there's a lot of things that the pain never used to bother me um, the kids used to laugh because I used to touch hot pans and things and they used to say oh mum's got asbestos fingers because I used to touch hot pots and things all the time which never used to bother me now I can't do that um, the slightest little piece of heat on my fingers or cold and it kills me so yeah, it's just getting used to different things really some things you can do and some things you can't so and it does vary on a day-to-day basis so that's stuck on there it's rounded off the corners um, I'm just going to slip that inside the pocket there so that's like that okay so that's that one done so now I need to find something to go on to this page while that dries off all nicely um, now I don't know whether to do another bottom pocket there or do one to go up the side maybe um, what have we got in the way of card see that doesn't allow a very big fold on there um, and I don't think I have a longer piece to use so this may be a case again of putting these along the bottom maybe um, right let's just put a pencil mark where I need where I want it to be um, so it's got a little bit of paper showing underneath there and there that out the way for a second. Oh, oh everything's falling over now. Um, let's move that a second. Get my score board and hopefully I can try and line these up on a line somewhere and just score them quickly like so. And then that one there. We've got some um, got some really nice bits for Christmas. Um, new pajamas and things as I'm sitting here in my pajamas at the moment. Um, some new slippers, smellies, um, my son and my daughter-in-law bought me a slow cooker um, which I will have fun using because uh, you can just fill that up early in the morning and then um, just leave it on all day ready to have your dinner in the evening but it's absolutely great at doing things like curries and stews and casseroles and you know all different types of things so that would be nice. Um, shall I leave it at the same thickness as that, or maybe I should cut that down a bit so it's the same as that side on that page? 
Um, right, how am I going to do this? Let's line that up with the bottom of there. Like so. And then we can mark this across here. And then cut that off so it should be the same height as that pocket there. Hopefully. But yeah, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and you know spent time with your loved ones. Um, I know it's hard sometimes, Christmas can be very hard for some people um, because you know it's their first Christmas or another Christmas um, without their loved ones, etc., which can be quite hard for some people. Um, my heart does go out to them. I've had a couple of years now without um, my daughter-in-law being here, bless her heart. She died a couple of years ago from cystic fibrosis. Um, she's such a lovely girl as well. It's such a shame. But these things do happen. And as she said to me one day, she said, you know, I'm not going to be here forever. Life does go on and you've got to get on with it and you know but uh, yeah so that is very hard but um I also lost um a lot of family members like the older generation of family last year um so I am hoping and praying touch wood that this year is going to be a bit better than the last one. Um, I think, I don't want to say that I'm an extremely unlucky person. Um, bad luck does seem to happen to me quite often. And I wouldn't like to think that, you know, everything I do I have to think about, you know, oh, what about this and what about that? What if this happens? Because I don't really feel that you should live your life like that. Um, I do feel that you have to be positive about things. Um, don't let things get you down so much all the time. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, you've got to kind of look at life as a positive Thing, not a negative and try and keep your chin up and not let things get to you so much uh, which is easier said than done but I suppose you do kind of have to get on with life um, the more you ponder over things the more time it's going to take you to heal um, Right, okay. Now, where did I just mark that? Oh, can't even see it now. Look. Right, it's there. Uh, on there. And there's one there. So we'll line that up with the crease. We'll make sure that's straight. Cut that off there, and then fingers crossed. Hopefully, it will fit. It doesn't always. Mistakes always happen, and they seem to happen more often when you're filming. It's the way life goes, unfortunately. Uh, but that's good. That fits nicely on there. So I'm going to glue that down on there. And it's the same as the pocket the other side then. Um, so it's all kind of matching. Which I suppose does look a bit better than trying to put something else completely different onto this page. And again, you're trying to get the different styles of paper to meet up and look nice together. Um, now I just need to... Right, we used the lion on the last one, 
So I'm thinking, um, what have we got that's nice for this page? We could choose the elephant. Um, I've got the giraffe. Um, we do have a few animals here. Um, have that one. We have a treasured moments. So we could always use that and then put something on there with it, maybe. Um, like one of the little teddies or something. See, that's a bit big. I need to stick that on there as well. You're not going to see that there. Um, mm, decisions, decisions. What shall I do? Um, we could also do something like that. It's just a, um, it's like a little bookmark thing, and it says your first breath took hours away. So we could always do something like that. And then, see, but then you're not going to see that behind there. Um, da -da 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 -da. We've got another baby's bottle here, and that is the same paper as that. But would it look okay like that? Um, or would it? We have another big bow thing here with a thing on. I don't know really what way around it's supposed to go. That way I do think. Um, what we got here? We have a rattle here. Um, could stick that on there with that. Or we could just have the bottle on its own, maybe. Uh, we have a dummy here, and that could be like that. You can use the dummy as well. Um, no, not going to use that one. I think what I'm going to do is just leave that as is, like that, and then put the card behind it. Because um, I can find something to go on there anyway after. Um, yes, I think I'm going to do that. So if I lay that that side to begin with, and then just put a little line across here so I know roughly where to glue up to. Put some glue on there, like so. And then just get a, a piece of paper or something to stick inside the pocket. So you're not going to actually... What I think I might do is one of these, um, these treasured moments that I've got here. I think I might print that off after in a smaller size and perhaps pop that across there with this one. It just takes away the uh, the fact that this paper on this bottle is the same as that um, so I need something there to kind of draw the attention away of being the same kind of paper if you get what I mean um, see that would look okay but I wanted something to kind of pop out a bit um, so we'll do that after um, so let's, let's move that out of the way for a second and then we need our third month card to do I don't think I'm going to make 
all these videos um, with you on camera. It's just, I don't want you folks to get bored um, watching me just doing the same stuff over and over and over. Um, so I will probably do a lot of it off camera, but then come back after and show you exactly what I've done. Um, but I will just be going through page by page pretty much the same as this. And um, just putting these, sticking them all together and decorating the pages. Um, you ladies are such excellent crafters anyway, so you know how to do all that. And I'm sure you don't want to be bored by sitting watching me do it over and over again each page. Because, as I said, with this one, it's pretty much going to be the same on each page. Um, you can't decorate these too much, obviously, because you want to see the beautiful pictures of the grandchildren. So, you decorate it too much, you're not going to get to see that as much. So... I wanted to try and keep it quite simple but um, pretty at the same time. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up having more trouble with the little boys one than the little girls. But they have got loads and loads of things in the packs to print out for these anyway. They've got loads of little sayings. Um, they've got like little buttons and bows and They've got so much in there. So I've just done that one. That's month three. 